Hello everyone. In this video, what we are going to see is triggers. In our last video, we have covered on introduction to logic apps. If you haven't watched the video, I will be providing the URL in the video description. Please do watch. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. This logic app we have created from our last video. So let me go here. And, and you can simply close it. And if you click on the logic app designer, you will get the same pop up over here. So it will show what are the common triggers which is available. So there are multiple triggers uh, available in Lo Logic App for each of the connectors. But these are some samples. And if you scroll down here, you can see some sample templates as well. Let me go with blank Logic App as of now. And just click on all. So here it will show the multiple connectors. And if you just click on this, it will show the complete list of uh, the connectors which is available inside logic app. Let's click on any uh, random one, let's say for shared point and you will get to see the list of triggers which is available. So triggers is the initial uh, step which you define in a logic app. And here if you see these are various trigger, let's say for example, whenever your file is created and whenever your new item is added or when a file is deleted or modified so you have multiple options which is available for a selected uh, connector let me go back here and similarly you have uh, connectors for twitter and all let me go with schedule so this is the first trigger we are going to see under schedule you have two option recurrence and sliding window first let's start with the basic one which is recurrence then we will go with uh, sliding window let me select this and here you have two options to specify interval and then frequency. So these two are mandatory you need to specify. Here what is specified is for every three minute trigger this logic app. So this is what it is defined over here. So here if you specify as one it will trigger every one minute. Or if you want to change the frequency you can do so from here. You can trigger every hour or every week or every month as well. So you can select the frequency from here. And here you can set some optional parameters as well. If you click on this drop down, you have multiple parameters based upon the frequency you have selected. So for month you have two option to select time zone. So with the time zone, you can select your time zone which you want to uh, trigger based upon it. So I'm selecting Chennai, which will set Indian time zone. and if you go with day, the number of parameters is going to vary. See, at this hour, here you have option at this hour, at these minutes, you can specify a value from uh, 0 to 59 for these minutes. And similarly, hour as well, you can specify. So if you switch to uh, minute, then the parameters will vary here. So depending upon the frequency you select, it will vary. And if you don't want to specify, uh, meaning like if you want to remove something, just click on X mark, it will go off and it will it will come back uh, here. And under settings, you have concurrency control. So what is mean by concurrency? Concurrency means how many logic app triggers you want to run parallelly. Let's say for example, if I just continuously uh, run from here five times, do I want to run all those five uh, triggers parallelly? or do I need to execute one by one? So if I want to specify as one by one, I need to go here and reduce the degree of parallelism to one. So one by one it will trigger. Or if I specify two, then two law triggers will run. Based upon it, you can specify uh, your limitations over here. But just remember, once you set the concurrency control, you cannot change it, meaning like you cannot uh, turn it off. So make sure you select based upon your requirement. So once you select it, even you cannot change the trigger type. So if you change to sliding window, it will show a pop up like you cannot change since the concurrency control is set. So be aware of this. And if you go to code view, we can see uh, the logic meaning like the code part of the particular uh, trigger over here. And just save it. So now what I have said is run every one minute. So let me save this. And if you go to logic app code view, 
it will show the complete logic cap uh, code part let me go back here now let's see about the sliding window let me delete this one let me go to all operations now click on schedule again so this is similar to recurrence but there are some difference so what is the difference let's say for example you have set your logic app to trigger every one minute and you disabled it for like 10 minutes and once it got enabled back do you need to run for all the missed triggers so for past 10 minutes 10 times it should have triggered right but it didn't because we disabled it but once it got enabled do i need to run all historic uh, times yes or no in that case if you select a recurrence there is no option it won't run for uh, the missed timings but with sliding window what it will do is it will see when it got complete a last uh, time then it will calculate how many triggers should have been run and the timing wise it will run so when this is useful so why do we need such uh, implementation let's say for example you design a uh, data import what it do is it will look for a file which is of timestamp based upon timestamp for every one minute one file will be there and you want to pick and process since you disable for past 10 minutes those 10 files will be ignored right so you don't want to do it maybe those files are uh, very important to you and you want to pick and process all those 10 file for the missed entries so in that case what you can do is you can set your trigger as sliding window and design your rest of the workflow which will pick up the timing from the sliding window so I will show uh, how it works first let's go with sliding window so this will have literally the same implementation which we had for recurrence let me set it for one minute and here uh, there is nothing much there is no concurrency over here because for sliding window there is no concurrency and here you have additional option like delay if you want to delay between uh, each trigger you can specify from here and time zone and start time so with start time you can specify like uh, a particular day from then it will start working so let me save it and let's trigger once it got triggered let me go to overview section and here i could see my uh, run over here so let me select this and it will show the version of it so what is the logic we have here it will show and it will show a tick mark at the top if it ran successfully and here if you select it it will show what are the inputs and what is the output so in output you can see the timing and all so what we are going to do is let's disable it for a particular time now it's around around 10 13 let me disable it now it is uh, six minutes something like that now let's enable back the last trigger was 10 12 pm let me refresh see for all those pending time it got triggered now let me click one by one and if you click on it here it is showing the time in UTC let me copy this so this is the first trigger and let me go to the second trigger see for all those missed timing here it will show the proper timing as well so when it was supposed to run so this timing is available in the output of this particular uh, uh, trigger so based upon it you need to construct your uh, logic so which will pick up the output of the particular activity and you need to design your workflow so that is how it works and that's it on this video in next video we will see about variables thank you for watching this video please hit subscribe and follow me on linkedin to stay connected